What's going on guys? It's like a hero and have you ever been in chat trying to make some money up with your profession and someone asks something like, you know, looking to craft this primal molten spell blade for at level 418 and you're not quite sure if you're able to craft it or not. Or you have a couple of points in that specialization but not enough points and you're kind of unsure if it's possible for you to make. Well, I have the add-on for you. This add-on is called CraftSim and can be downloaded however you currently download your add-ons, either through your Curse Forge app or manually, of course. The CraftSim does a lot of things, and today we're going to focus on the simulation of knowledge points and how you can use that to figure out what is possible at your current level and future levels in your profession. I do recommend downloading Auctionator as it is a dependency. And definitely Auctionator is BIS. It's a really good add-on to have anyways, even if you're not crafting. So Craft Sim lets you sim your crafts. And uh, by doing so, you're able to know ahead of time, especially like in this case, when someone wants a, something crafted at a 418 level, you can simulate by clicking the simulation mode on screen now. I'm going to highlight both of the modes that I'm using. The first is the simulation mode on the middle right of my screen. And then also on the top left, you see that I have material optimization highlighted as well or checked. Today, we're going to focus on the material optimization and the craft sim simulation mode. Currently, with a concentrated primal effusion to make it 418, with a missive and with a fang, I'm 53 skill points away from being able to inspire into a rank five. The craft sim material optimization, it's checked. And so because I have that checked, it's going to look for the best combination that I can currently get. And that best combination is a rank four if I inspire a crit into it. Now you can take this information, this knowledge, and go into the specialization tree and see how many skill, skill points you need to spend to be able to hit that 418 or whatever level it is under those requirements, right? With the missive, with the primal, whatever all that is. So once you know that, okay, I need to spend this many points, you can go back to that sim and then you can put those points in, right? You're gonna put your, what, what level primal infusion, what missive is wanted in the craft, and if there's a third one, like a flavor pocket or something like that. And then you could add the skill points that you're going to need and you're going to see here that at a certain amount of skill points, when I get to like 18, 19 skill points in that tree, I'm able to at that point get to 418. And yeah, you're going to need a certain amount of rank threes, right? In this case, I need rank threes and rank four primal alloys. But I can relay that message to the customer, let them know, and you know as well what you can get to be able to hit that craft. Now, if you hit the assign button at this point in that optimization screen, it's going to move those materials to the left side of your screen, and then it will show you that you're able to inspire into that. And this works with any crafting profession, this add-on. So you're able to know, okay, I'm going to spend 10 more skill points. It's going to grant me this much more. Let me even put that in the sim, and you won't overspend. Uh, early on in the, in the expansion, I put many points that I didn't need to into shields. I put 30 points into it. I put 25 into my primal boots. I put 21 into my bracers. If I would have had this sim at, the, at that point, I probably would have only put 20 into each area, which would have left me so many more skill points to use into other areas. I'm able to currently hit 418 helmets, even though I have zero points in the helmets because I'm able to tell the customer what mats I need to be able to craft it to them. And so it's overall a benefit for you. you you're able to craft more and make more money, and you're not overspending your skill points. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, make sure to leave a like. If you like the video, comment. If you're using a different add-on, let me know what it is, and uh, I will see you guys later.